hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please welcome feel at home and click that subscribe button and by doing that you're welcome to the family for those who have been watching my video thank you for clicking and for enjoying my videos so today i'll help you understand domestic violence the current situation we are in right now people are just tired people are just they don't have hope of what tomorrow brings and people are just full of anger and domestic violence is now the animal inside our homes but most of the people don't understand that they are under violence because they need to get someone to tell them about domestic violence so today i will help you understand what violence is i will help you understand what the meaning of domestic violence is and i will help you and i will give you the facts of domestic violence i will also help you know what are the causes of domestic violence so what is violence violence is the use of force or threat if you see someone threatening you and using force to you that is not love that is not right thing so that is violence it can be either physically, emotionally, or psychological. And what does the word domestic violence mean? Just as the word domestic means, it's something that is close to us. It can be either a spouse for those who are married legally. It can be either for those who are in a relationship, that is the intimate people. And it can be also in your home, maybe your brother, let me just say your siblings it does not have a border that there must be people who are intimate no as long as you can see threat and you can see someone using force to you maybe if they want something done or if they want to demand something or anything as long as it's threat and force that is violence and you are supposed to know that that is against the constitution and the constitution has constitution has the right procedures that you're supposed to follow if someone is making you go through that violence or domestic violence and in our courts right now if you can just take someone to the court because of violence that is a charge and they will be taken to court and they can even be sued and that is that just give you a, a reason for not just sitting comfortably be it with your spouse or anyone because you don't know that you have your rights you have your rights don't just sit down and ex and relax as someone is harming you and is doing bad things to you is and is just if you just see anything that is just not happy not making you happy please that is not that is not what you're supposed to accept you're not supposed to take such a thing and welcome it in your life because that is welcoming a big problem in your life so what are the facts about domestic violence so one it involves combination of physical sexual emotional and psychological abuse you can be abused physically sexually you didn't know that there is sexual violence maybe there is you, someone is just raping you and you're just comfortable about it someone is just forcing to have sex with you because they call you your partners or maybe those relationship boyfriend girlfriend and they force you to have sex with you that is against the constitution and that is just the start that is you are going to be in a domestic violence relationship you are supposed to open your eye and because that is an alert the other thing is that partners with violent partners end up in divorce or separation or they develop psychiatric conditions or end up in drug and substance abuse so why will you just allow yourself to go through all those things when you could just 
open your eye at the beginning and see that this is an eye this is an alert this is an eye opener so and i don't expect people to sit in a relationship and enjoy violence and that is why i told you that it can lead to divorce or separation because there is no way someone will just sit comfortably and enjoy being abused being beaten being sexually abused no and for those people who maybe their self-esteem is low they end up taking drugs they end up getting psychiatric conditions violence is just really a bad animal so another fact is that it can occur in in cyclic and intensifying patterns maybe today they'll just insult you tomorrow they'll push you the next day they will slap you the next day they will hit you with an object the next day they can even burn your face with acid they can burn your face with hot water they can burn your body with hot water so why sit down and wait for all those things why please you need to open your eyes and now i'll be able to show you the causes of domestic violence so one is personality factors some people may be seeking gratification and recognition maybe because they have a low self-esteem and they view themselves as failures and they are likely to use force you you see those people maybe they just have low self-esteem they don't believe in themselves and maybe if they want to be noticed they have to use force they have to use pressure they most of them for those who are married they even beat their women maybe they want respect they beat their women just to gain the respect that is because their personality factors are not as high as it can support to take that it's sad really sad and another cause of domestic violence is economic factors maybe like for those who are married your husband is the breadwinner and as a woman as a wife you are just sitting at home you're comfortably sitting at home so for you you expect the husband to give you everything from food from your basic needs everything you depend on the husband so why will that husband not treat you the way he wants because as for the husband they feel like they own you that is for those husbands who don't reason let me just call them that yeah you just sit comfortably at home expecting to be given everything and as a woman i would just advise any woman out there don't just be comfortable seated at home expecting your man to be the sole provider of everything we are in the 21st century my dear women my dear friends please make sure that you also bring something on the table so that we can reduce these causes these domestic violences there is no way a man will just be beating women because they are just buying things in the house maybe because they are buying they are providing everything in the house no that is not a good thing so i would advise all women out there please also take your part and do something and for the men who are who think that by being the sole provider of the family you own a woman no that is not a right thing and if you didn't know that that is violence if you didn't know that it's violence i hope now you know and please reduce those causes in the house and we need peace in our homes so the other thing that can cause domestic violence is emotional causes maybe for the married people one of the one of the partners can develop a suspicious mind that maybe their partner is cheating and they end up beating the other partner just because of suspicions being suspicious you tend to beat your husband or your wife or your boyfriend and your girlfriend because you are suspecting them that is a cause of domestic violence and the other thing is 
culture and social factors. So in some cultures, they allow women to be punished by their, by their husbands just as a way to show that they have been disciplined. And in some cultures, women and children, they are not allowed to attend some functions because that is for the men. And in some cultures, some women, they accept violence as a way of showing how faithful they are to their partners. It's sad. Another cause of domestic violence is family factors. Maybe someone was brought up in a family where left, right, center, they are surrounded by domestic violence neighbors, parents, or siblings. Why will that person not tend to get those behaviors of being violenced? Because as for them, they, they, they tend to believe like it's the in thing. It's the right thing to do things. And another cause of domestic violence is psychological factors. Maybe some people have some underlying conditions and they just engage themselves in violence because they lack the capacity to create and think that what they are doing is not wrong. And they cannot just raise a healthy relationship because they are they have something with their psychological disorder or something but like the current situation we are in right now people are just at home everyone is just at home the men don't have money anymore they have provided for the family for enough time and there is no hopes of when the corona thing is going to finish they don't have hopes of when like in my country kenya when the lockdown and cessation movements will finish they just don't know and they're just full of stress and this is the time that you find pe most people in the homes they are just fighting they have disagreements all the time they cannot just come to a right agreement because this one is saying this the other one is saying this and right now people are just angry they're just full of anger and you can't just tell the reason as to why but the financial factors right now is at its peak because people are broke and i would not advise anyone out there because of the current situation to take the advantage if you can't just control your emotions and you can't control what you are going through please seek help you need to seek counseling if you can and because these are disease please get healed before you make it more worse please people should just try and stay at home with peace with love and we are hoping for the best i'll be able to do a part two of this domestic violence this is a very deep topic and we don't need to rush it we need to go slowly by slowly so that we will understand everything i hope by today you have known what violence is and you know what domestic violence is and you know the facts of domestic violence and you also know what causes domestic violence i'll be able to do a part two in this channel of mine so please if you enjoyed this video be sure to click that subscribe button below and click that notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first person to know so today i'll be doing a shout out this girl has been helping me share my video share my content to people she has been posting on her wall and i thank god for her so today my notification shout out goes to Eunice Mwangi Mudoni and Winket Mukami. Many people have been sharing my my videos and my and liking my videos, my content, and calling their friends to like it and share. And I appreciate. And for you to get a notification, a shout out in my next video, what you need to do is just easy like this. Please just 
take a screenshot of my video post it maybe in your facebook and if you post it in your facebook share my link and tag me facebook tag me at lucy wanjiko if you share this screenshot to your instagram just tag me and you can also direct your friends to my youtube channel ask them to subscribe and tell them that here is a channel that we get to learn new things every day because i believe that no one is perfect and we need to learn things every day from people maybe who have a higher experience than we are and thank you guys and i hope i'll be seeing you in my next video and i love you guys thank you thank you for the support thank you bye bye